Hi guys, Mike Lee Connect, Movement is Life. It is Tuesday morning, and Tuesday morning is Double Tap Tuesday. So I'm gonna connect the dots here between uh, two things, and that will make up the Double Tap. Uh, one is my group of people that are doing the slow burn cut. So that will be the end of this video. But first I'm gonna explain what the hell is a savage workout, okay? So you come to our school, it says civilize the mind, but make the but make savage the body, okay? It's one of my favorite quotes, it's actually a samurai quote. And what's the difference between a savage workout and a regular workout, okay? A savage workout is a workout that leaves you completely drenched wet and you can barely breathe and you gave it about 97% of your gas tank, okay? To me, that's a savage workout, okay? Not every workout should be a savage workout, okay? I, I typically do one savage workout a week, okay? So I have a very specific way I do my workout, but one workout a week is a savage workout, okay? So sometimes guys come here on Saturday and I go, okay, not too easy, not too crazy workout, that's not a savage workout, okay? A savage workout is a workout that you really, like at the end, you can barely, barely do anything else but just fucking recover, okay? So typically a savage workout includes some types of hybrid calisthenic uh, movement in the middle of lifting, okay? So in other words, uh, it could be burpee, it could be jump box, it could be a burpee into jump into a pull up, but one of the exercises is an exercise that really pick up your heart rate, okay? So in other words, you, you, you're doing some lifting, you're doing some, uh, uh, kettlebells, but there'll be a couple or at least one exercise that is really taxing your body heart rate wise. And by the time you come back to lifting with a short amount of rest, that lifting is basically much harder to do because you don't have oxygen flowing to the uh, muscles, blah, blah, blah. I'm not a scientific guy, so I, I don't ask me for something, but basically you're out of fucking breath and now you got to lift. So it's not only your ability to lift and the strength, it's your ability to have the cardio capacity to keep lifting. That's a savage workout, okay? So I basically do one savage workout a week, and that's where I, it, it keeps me equalized into having the performance to, to be in a battle, and this and that. Okay, so how that, let's connect to my guys, the group of people that are doing the slow burn uh, cut. Okay, so the slow burn cut started on May 1st. From May 1st to May 14th, two weeks, it was the Ignite two weeks, okay? The Ignite two weeks was basically uh, how to have a food portion, a portion control on your plate. There was two types of meal, fuel or gas, what I call gas, having enough gas for workouts. And there was a type of fuel that's called fire, which basically half of the plate was protein, clean protein, meat, fish, egg or whatever. And the other half was a clean green veggie, okay? That's a fire meal plate. A gas fuel meal plate is a plate that's divided into three. One third is the meat, one third is the green, and one third is high octane clean protein. Sweet potato, quinoa, uh, either brown rice or white rice, depending if you're lifting heavy or not lifting heavy, and I'm not getting into this right now. If you're lifting heavy, you should eat one of those two rices, either brown or white, and if you're not lifting heavy, you should go eat one of those two brides, but this is not what the video is all about. Okay, so, and then after those two weeks, we went into a metabolic phase of three weeks uh, from May 15 to June 4th. We are now in that three week space. Okay, in this three week space, me personally, I didn't lose any weight. I didn't lose any weight th uh, this week. I actually lost weight in the first phase, two weeks, but in this uh, 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 phase, I am not losing weight. Uh, it's just performance, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so now, starting June 5th, will be phase three. On phase three, you guys have three options. One option, go into four weeks of an actual cut, which will be your objective to lose weight, okay? Option number two, okay, objective specific. That's what OBSP stands for, objective specific. Option number two, go into performance cut. In other words, not for weight loss, simply for performance, okay? And finally, you have a CP uh, cut, which is basically a, so for cut weight and performance, which is a hybrid for savage workouts, okay? In other words, 
full savage workouts okay if you choose this option that means you're gonna pick up your amount of savage workouts to either two or three savages workout a week okay either two or three savages workout a week that's very hard to do that's a very tough uh, four week cut because you're playing with the carbs and you're playing with cutting carbs while you're doing savages workout it's going to tax your body but that on that you're going to lose weight and your performance is going to go high okay i am going into the cp i am going to the cp i'm probably going to lose 10 to 12 pounds in those four weeks but maintain good strength okay i don't use the word muscle i'm not a bodybuilder i don't care how i look personally i have okay arms so I, it's not my objective but like, like I don't go into, oh, uh, uh, you work out and you eat, but you gotta keep your muscle. All I care is keep my strength. Keep, my, I use the word strength, okay? Because it's more connected to performance, okay? So again, if you're one of the people in the group uh, doing uh, the slow burn cut, you need to communicate with me which one you want. Do you want your next phase to be cut, lose weight only, performance only, not concerned with lose weight at all, and finally, the CP, the hybrid. Do not choose the CP if you're not going to do Savage's workout. If you're not going to do Savage's workout, it makes no sense to go into the CP cut because it's just not the objective. You're better off you just want to lose weight to go in that, that. That It's a difference in playing with the uh, cycle of the carbs each one of those four weeks programs. So here's your double tap for today, guys. Mike Lee can I can barely walk today. I did the Murph yesterday. I, I, I barely can fucking walk today, but it was worth it. I hope everybody had a good Memorial Day week, a weekend. Now it's Tuesday, which is basically this week's Monday. So go get it. Mike Lee Kinnerick, movement is life.